Okay, so in these examples for le advanced lesson week two, we apply what we learned in the uh, first video. And uh, what we do is we ask a question. The remainder when three positive integers are divided by nine. So this is what we're dividing by. We don't know what our integers are, but we know that they give remainder three, remainder five, and remainder seven. So that means they are equivalent, whatever these three numbers are, you know, we call them A, B, and C, they're equivalent to um, three mod nine, uh, five mod nine, and seven mod nine. So that, those are our three remainders when divided by nine. So the question then becomes, what is the remainder when their product is divided by nine? Well, we don't know what A, B, and C are, but we do know they're modular, and based on what we learned about modular arithmetic, it is okay to multiply three times five and do it in modular 9. So when I multiply those together, I get 15 mod 9, which is equi equivalent to 6 mod 9, because 15 divided by 9 remain, really, uh, gives you remainder 6. Then I just multiply it by 7, and so that gives me 42 mod 9, and 42 mod 9 is equivalent to um, 6 mod 9. So the answer to this question is 6 mod 9. If I wanted to do this mod 3, I could also do that. Because once I get to 6 mod 9, we know that 6 mod 9 is the same as 0 mod 3. Because it's a 6 mod 9 will clearly be divisible by 3 because it, you know, it equals 6 is divisible by 3 and so it's 9. And so that would be divisible, 0 divisible uh, mod 3. So you can do those problems like that as well. Um, so it's a very easy problem to do when you write it like that. Okay, the next one says, Mr. Fisher buys cookies in boxes of 48 and then puts them into groups of 40, 11. If he buys 9 to 3 boxes, how many will he have left over? Well, this is one where you could do using straight arithmetic, meaning you just multiply 48 times 93, divide by 11, and get your remainder. Or you can use modular arithmetic and recognize that each box is equivalent to 4 mod 11 because you've got a remainder of 4 each time. So now we just multiply that by 93, and that's a lot easier multiplication to do, so that gives you 372 mod 11. So now it's an easier problem because instead of having to figure out what some large number, 48 times 93 mod 11 is, we only need 372 mod 11. So when we divide 372 by 11, we get 33, which would be 42. And so we get um, 33 remainder, um, and it's going to be a remainder of... 9. So how many uh, cookies will he have left over? He will have 9 cookies left over in this problem because it turns out to be uh, mod 9 mod, mod 11. All right, last problem. What is the remainder when 8 to the 321st is divided by 5? Well, remember what you do on this is you look for a pattern. Um, so we just start with 8. 8 divided by 5 is going to give you, is equivalent to 3 mod 5. Multiply by 8 again, that's going to give you 64 divided by 5, which is equivalent to 24 mod 5, because I multiply the 3 by 8, which is equivalent to uh, 4 modular 5. Multiply 8 again, we get 8 cubed. Well, I'm going to multiply 4 by 8 and get 32 modular 5. Notice how much easier these numbers are to work with. Well, 32 modular 5 is equivalent to 2 mod 5. Multiply by 8 again, you get 8 to the 4th. I don't want to calculate 8 to the 4th at all, but I don't have to because that's going to give me 16 modular 5, which is going to give me 1 mod 5. Multiply by 8 again, you get 8 divided by 5. 8 to the 5th divided by 5. Well, when you multiply by 5, that's going to, or 8, that's going to give you 8 modular 5, which equals 3 modular 5. Now I have my repeating. So this one repeats every fourth term. And the reason it repeats is because we're multiplying by these, and I'm, so I'm just multiplying 8 by 3, which is the same thing I did up here, so it's going to give you the same answers, and so on and so forth. So to get the answer, I just divide 321 divided by 5, by 4, whatever that is. Well, basically, we want to find out what is 321 mod 4 equivalent to. If it's mod 1, then it's uh, remainder 3. Mod 2, it's remainder 4. Mod 3, remainder 2 mod 4 remainder 1. Notice there's no remainder 0. right? 5 is never going to go into a power of 8. So once I divide this by 4, I find out that it's equivalent to 1 mod 4.
because three four goes into 320 um, exactly 80 times. So one mod four is equivalent to this one. So the remainder, when eight, three, eight to the 321st is divided by five is three. So that gives you three good examples of how to apply, the, apply this onto modular arithmetic problems, and you'll have some more on your test to test you on how well you can apply these concepts.